So, for everyone who is expecting Tara, why don't, why don't you tell them who you are? Uh, I'm Mike, also known as Jesus on some, for some of these shows. He's not Jesus. I'm Jesus. He's not Jesus. Totally Jesus. Mike is uh, the, when you see, her, see at the end of my videos, the credits that say produced by Mike Gearman. This is the guy. This is the guy who, who is responsible for get, helping me uh, pay for getting this stuff so started and allowing this stuff to work. And as a result, he gets his name on the credits forever and ever. But I do not have a hippo. He does not have a hippo. Oh, no, it went to... Why the fuck did it go to widescreen? It's, it's just... It's just dicking with me tonight. It's making my job harder. Stop dicking with me, computer. You're making me pissed. Who went to widescreen? You did. I don't know why. I have to resize it to make it... There we go. Sorry. So yeah, Mike is responsible for helping us out and uh, getting this stuff started. Since Tara is uh, out for the evening, Mike is going to help us with stupid news. He looks so enthused, Mike. <laughs> so happy to be Hold here. On. Let me get the enthusiasm juice. There you go, the enthusiasm juice, which is, of course, beer. So that we, it is. we have an interesting little assortment tonight. Are you uh, you ready to get started with this nonsense? God help me, I am. <laughs> there is no God to help you with this. Odin help me, I am. No. All right, let's... Uh, would you play for fuck's sake this stupid thing? I swear, tonight it has just given me all kinds of bullshit. Keep going. There we go. Where are you going? I'm running the intro. Each week, Catherine goes out on the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible shit, brings it back here in a segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? Where are you going? You just don't walk out in the middle of the segment. Don't I saw something that. I had to get. No. No. Okay, so what do we got this week? What do we have this week? Okay, well, the first story from this week is actually a follow-up to one we ran last week. Do you remember the uh, the story about the uh, the vodka? Naked or naked monkeys. The what? I was saying naked or monkeys. Not naked or... Well, no, this is just plain awful. Remember the story we ran about the uh, the vodka? The advertisement? Yes. Yes. I just sent you the link. It's, it should be there in your Skypey thing. I have no idea where. In your chat. Skype chat. Live, everyone. Yeah, uh, no idea where that is. You don't know where your Skype is? <laughs> My producer, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, right, there it is. There it is, yes, click on that. Click, click that there, yes, that. This is how often, I never use Skype. It's... So yeah, okay. there was a, uh, a wonderful uh, advertisement by uh, Belvedere Vodka that was always go down all belvedere always goes down smoothly let's 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 right. remind you of that you see that right there well yeah. apparently it gets worse the advertisement actually came from a screenshot from a comedy video off youtube and surprise surprise the ad company did not have permission to use it um the woman, one of those people who thought hey it's on youtube it must be free for us to use for anything not for an advertisement because you know it's woman featured in the ad allison packard is now suing the company for using her image why because for one thing the image comes from a video featuring packard that was never meant to be used for another company's advertisement and for another no one bothered to get her permission to use her image for this highly questionable ad in the first place because it's not as if she posed for a stock photo that could have ended up anywhere even without direct consent Apparently, the sketch was nothing to do with rape at all. It was about reposing for awkward baby pictures. It's the internet. People do comedy stuff. Okay. So it had nothing to do with forcing someone to have sex, but... Uh, this, Our next day at work must have been awkward. It must have. Hey, we saw you in this ad. Why'd you approve that? I didn't approve this. And you know what? She's got a point because... Uh, they, they they could associate her if someone she potentially get hired by they could associate her with this advertisement this could hurt her career 
What the fuck? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I just got to go back to the work thing. You know, awkward. Every guy there hitting on her because they thought, hey, she did this. Oh. No. No, no, no. It's HR nightmare in the making. Yeah. Well, it's, 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 it's annoying because at every single level, this advertisement was 100% fail. Yeah, it's a fail. It was it it this is just the gang who cannot shoot straight. How can a company today be representing a major brand and just completely fuck up everything like this? It's how do they keep getting work? This this is a company killer. I don't get it. Mad Men they ain't. No, this is not. This is yeah, I don't see Don Draper doing this i see don draper coming up with the idea involving his secretary but not selling it to the vodka company <laughs> yeah yeah the oh well, uh, raping a secretary that's that's not something we want to sell stuff with but hey it's a great idea don draper everyone that's a that show has not been quite as as good as once it was but that's something else entirely Ah, uh, so yeah, there's that. Let's get to the straight up, now that we've caught up with friends, let's get to the straight up naked and crazy this week. Because we're, we're starting with it full barrel right off the bat. Um, This one, I, I don't really have a lead in for this because it kind of, I, this has got a wonderful headline. Um, I will give them the alliteration. Absolutely. Apparent Go. boisterous bare-breasted brouhaha in Indian River County. That has got to be one of the most magnificent headlines ever. Uh, I will. I, I will give them the props for the, like I say, the alliteration, and uh, it actually seems to be like it might be a well-written article over a woman who broke in. And apparently decided to flash her tits as the way to get out of being yeah. caught breaking and entering. Possible burglary in progress turned to a topless confrontation with a 31-year-old woman that ended in two arrests. Uh, the, the apparent boisterous, bare-breasted brouhaha, say that three times fast, uh, began March 25th after a neighbor called in a possible burglary. An Indian River, Indian River County Sheriff's deputy approaching the residence heard what sounded like a disturbance along with breaking glass and two people yelling. The investigator saw Susan Stickle, 31, and 44-year-old uh, Eric Bachman on the porch. Uh, the deputy separated the two, told to put her hands in the car, Strickle hugged Bachman, and yelled slurred expletives. Uh, this is the best part. When a deputy asked her name, Stickle yelled she had no ID and took off her shirt, revealing her bare chest, because... Yeah, you're. That's not going to tell people who you are. Unless you're Angelina Jolie. That's that's. Or unless you've been in a number of FARC uh, lineups. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, that that's my I, I. That that's not you know how popular was this woman that she think oh well you don't know who I am. Do you know who I am now? Do you remember? Yeah, just how... Well, it sort of depends on how many strip clubs they have in the area. If there's just one, she might be well known. True. True, you know. Oh, you're Honey Blossom. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. I didn't I never, recognize you with your clothes on. Your before. Yeah. Brings a whole new meaning to eyes up here, boys. Um, Trying to figure out where the second arrest came in. She gets arrested for breaking and entering. Where's the second arrest? That's oh, the other guy, I think. But I thought he lived there. No. Oh, okay. Bachman refused to give a reason for being in the home and wouldn't, quote, explain that he actually belonged in the property, which I later learned from a neighbor. So oh, he did there. He but he was too dumb he to wouldn't. identify himself. <laughs> How do you get arrested for being in your own home, for not simply saying, no, this is my house. Well, okay, you can actually be arrested for that. There was, and this is a funny story, there was a uh, drug bust 
I wasn't involved in any of this. I just heard about it. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. You uh, a drug heard bust about where it. They, they, yeah. they went in to get this guy that he wasn't home. 19 cop cars outside the house. And here he comes walking up the street, gets to the first cop there, says, I live here. Can I go in? Well, that, that that's what he said. He got arrested for saying, I do live here. This guy got arrested for not saying, no, this is my house. I live here. Don't arrest me. I actually live. God damn. Just all. Of, and I want to put him on the big screen because look at this guy's face. Yeah. Yeah, he's not sober. And she's not sane, so they're a perfect couple, honestly. Is that, is that a pair of piercings right here? Is that what that it is? is. She's, she's got, yeah, she's got piercings, yeah. I don't she's, know. One, she's one set of makeup from being a uh, juggalo. <laughs> she is. She's got them juggalo crazy eyes. <laughs> so, um, oh boy. This next one, I don't like kids. I think I've I've made no secret of this, but and I normally have problems with noisy kids outside my house. My solution is normally to either go outside and yell at them, or to call the cops and have them come yell at them. Nash, hmm. are you admitting now that you say I, I get off? Get, you kids, get off my lawn! I do partly because of the joy of now I can actually say get off my lawn there's a freedom in that i love that um this however is not how i would choose to uh to deal with the situation um from medford oregon man fires shots two quiet noisy kids police arrested a medford oregon man accused of firing two shots in the air to quiet a pair of neighborhood children playing outside his trailer Who's surprised? This is a trailer. Show of hands. Show of hands. There you go. Yes. Yeah, uh, um, officers. You know, if, were, hmm? if it was a sledgehammer he used, I would say Gallagher. But um, <laughs> that's, that's overkill. Whatever happened to him? Anyway, he, he was in the news recently. He uh, like had some sort of medical incident, but he's going to continue comedy. So he's going to continue. When did he, he had like a heart attack or something? When did he begin comedy? Anyway, um, officers responded to the Sherlene Trailer Park after on Wednesday after nine one one callers reported the shots. Police say forty two year old Danny Way quote had become angry with the amount of noise uh, the nine year old and fourteen year old were uh, were making nine and fourteen nine walked outside according to the police count the man was about 10 feet away when he fired a nine millimeter handgun twice into their direction but in the air over their heads the children were unhurt unhurt but needed new pants <laughs> oh shit what the fuck and the, the my first thought is when the kids went back to their trailer <laughs> they said mom we told you we didn't want to play outside. Can we go back to the video game? No shit! Yes, because now it's like, you kids go play outside. No! Oh. We'll get dead! The fucking neighbor will kill us! What What? What the fuck was that? That was a beep. Oh, it was a beep. Okay. Now, I just... it. How is this... What, how loud were these children? Was this kid making off an air raid siren noise? I mean, at what point do you have to say the best solution for this problem is weaponry? Who now, jumps to that? I mean, someone who lives in Sherlene tra Trailer Park. And again, my, my, my thinking here is how do you come up with that as a name? Sherlene, get back, off, get off that table. No more dancing at the bar. You've had too much to drink. It sounds. We like gotta go that. back to the trailer park. Your mama named after you. <laughs> you know, if it were me and I wanted to make a loud noise to make them behave, I'd go get an air horn. Get yeah. it, freaking Walmart, ten bucks. Ah, anytime they start making noise, ah, they get the hint. Or you point your speakers at the window. It worked for what's his name uh, in uh, Nicaragua. It fucking worked on him. 
You don't remember that back in Nicaragua? Panama Canal? Panama, yeah. Noriega. There it is. There we Noriega. go. Wow. 80s. Yeah. Worked on Noriega. They blasted uh, fucking ACDC at him. He came. To f he went. He fucked off. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't think it was ACDC that did it. It was the Guns N' Roses. It was, yeah, it was Guns Paradise City. They kept playing Paradise. Man, you play Paradise City ten times. I will leave. You well, that play was when it once, first started I threatening uh, to make Chinese democracy, too. So Yeah. We won't go away until he makes the album. Okay, I give up. I'm coming out. <laughs> oh, okay. So speaking of get off my lawn, um, we've seen often that a, uh, a trend among meth dealers is to have the mobile meth lab. They will get a okay. camper. They will make meth. They or a trunk. Or a trunk, yeah. Or their local Walmart. Yeah. Yes. Um, but normally, uh, they take this to some place where they won't be detected. That is the whole point of making it sure. mobile. They, I'll buy that. They don't want to be arrested. They'll take it. Well, um, yet the uh, we we have another one of these. If I can get the link to you, there we go. There we go. I don't have it yet. Oh, there, there it is. Um, we we. Normally, you take one of these someplace uh, out of the way, not to someone's front yard. And, of course, it's Florida. Live Oak, Florida. Live Oak police say they arrested a man for making meth within the Live Oak city limits. Andrew James Britt uh, was arrested when police discovered he was making meth in a camper in a stranger's yard. Police responded. Okay, so he didn't even know the guy. No, no. I, I, when, he, when you sent me the link and I saw this, I was first thinking it was National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Cousin Eddie drove up with this meth lab for Christmas. No, it just some random guy pulled up in his yard, started making meth. Police responded to a home when residents called to report suspicious activity in the yard. When they got the house, the caller told them someone had been living in their camper in their yard without their permission. Inside the camper, police found Britt sleeping next to paraphernalia. They say indicated he was operating a meth manufacturing lab right there in the camper. They arrested him and charged him with possession of methamphetamine and manufacturing meth. Missing the point of the whole mobile yeah. meth. If, if you've got a camper, there's, there's Everglades in Florida. You could drive up to Georgia. There's some scenic mountains. And, yeah. and make your meth. Was he thinking he was going to outsmart the police? They're looking in the woods for the meth labs. They'll never find me in the burbs. Does, was he trying some reverse psychology, maybe? Yeah, at the very least, park in someone's yard who's not going to report you right away. Find the coke dealer. Park in his yard. Uh, yeah, yes! What's a, what's a coke dealer going to do? The coke dealer is not going to call the cops. He's going to be like, all right, I'll let this one slide. You know, don't don't park in like... I say, Bridget, I do believe there happens to be a meth lab in the front yard. Perhaps we should call the authorities. You know, don't don't go into white bread suburbia and park your meth lab on their own. They're not going to be okay with this. Absolutely not. I've lived in neighborhoods where they would be, but not, not, no, not most bad places. Oh, apparently. Oh, it gets worse. Okay, to make okay, it gets worse. Wasn't his camper? Was it the guy's camper? He whose house it was? Yeah. So we've gone now from cousin Eddie from National Lampoon to Beavis and Butthead. Yes. We're just gonna go into a random camper. Yes. Make math. Yes. It doesn't look like he's used this camper in a while, Bob. I I, I think we can go in. No! Oh, God. I... The stupid is burning at this point. Let's, let's, let's move on. I, I think I'm gonna... Okay, so... Let's move on from one horrible thing to the next. Um... Oh, monkeys. We haven't had a good monkey story in a while. This one doesn't involve monkeys. It involves kids. And I... Th okay, you know how on this show we occasionally stumble across what may very well be new fetishes 
we have been known to the, the guy who really likes picnic tables i remember him yeah the guy who liked to have sex with automobiles yeah. i remember him what do we have now well um and you said it involves kids so i'm concerned to begin with yeah this is from kitsap oregon um <laughs> CK Central Kids a man arrested for dropping pants filming students reactions. So, um do you remember I'm not gonna of course uh link to the video. Remember you of course two girls, one cup. Yeah. And the, the best video about that was the reactions to people to two girls, one cup, including Kermit the Frog's reaction. Yeah. As I recall. Um, so this guy was basically trying to do a live action yes. version of that. Yes. Uh, a 56 One year guy, old. no pants. 56 year old Central Kids at Man was arrested Monday for dropping his pants and then filming reactions of students on Olympic High School's campus. Craig E. Donaldson was charged by. S yes, he went to a high school. Yes. <laughs> charged by county prosecutors Tuesday with voyeurism. Uh, sheriff's deputies ar uh, arrested Donaldson Monday, security at the school, who investigated a similar incident the week before, found Donaldson after female students had witnessed the man with his pants down. Detectives say Donaldson was aroused by the reactions at the sight of his buttocks, which he would then film on a camera. He said he'd been doing it for, quote, five to ten years, including three times over the past few weeks at the school. He told detectives that he, quote, did not like what he was doing and knew that it was wrong. So why do you keep doing it? No clue. But, um, five to ten years. I'll, I'll give him points for dedication. He's, he's committed. And he probably should be. <laughs> but uh, I got to channel Tara's editor editorial thing here uh, in the article if you're going to say they've been doing it for five to ten years and you spell out five spell out the ten is there a train that was the, that was the train out my window yes oh nice train okay now i i i just if you understand you have a problem with doing this and you know you should stop Here's an easy, simple solution. Don't buy a video camera! I do have a, a technical question about this. Now, when, it, so when I saw the, the, the headline, he's dropping his pants and filming the reactions, my assumption was he was dropping his pants and filming what was in front of him. But it says his buttocks. Yeah. So it, does he got a camera pointed over his shoulder? Yeah, I Is know. Is he wearing a like... pair of those glasses that have the little mirrors in them so he can see where he's aiming? I mean, five to ten years, he's obviously got a lot of practice on this. This guy might have a hidden talent for backwards filming. I don't know. Also, what was so astonishingly amazing or awful about his buttocks that he was aroused by the reactions? That, that... That's a horrible idea. What was so astonishing that looking, gazing on his buttocks, was it fear or majesty that they inspired? Portraits of every president of the United States of America. Could be fear, could be majesty. <laughs> you know, I, I wouldn't put it past this show. Um... So it's time for some sheer old-fashioned stupidity. Um, oh, but yes. We uh, haven't had any of that in a while. Often, you and I have both been drunk. It's been known to happen. It's been known to happen. Um, and we've often needed help when we've been drunk. Yes. We call on our friends for that help. Yes, yes we do. And we have to call on the right friends, because the wrong friends will amuse themselves at our expense. And uh, I think the, the, the lesson from this story is that um, the police are not your friends. Individual police officers may be your friends, but when they're on duty and you're drunk, they're, they're not your friends. 
A woman needing help finding the bathroom is now facing numerous charges. Her first mistake, calling 911 for her restroom emergency. And this is, of course, Pasco, Florida. Sheriff's Office said 32-year-old Marcia Usher placed the 911 call Wednesday night, saying she was lost in the woods and didn't know where she should urinate. And lost in the woods, if I'm not mistaken, was in her front yard. Just getting there. You're blowing the surprise, man. Let's let's I'm just sorry. let's just pause here at the first first part. Lost in the woods and doesn't know where to pee. Lost in the woods can be a valid reason to call nine one one. I'll grant that that much of it. But I have been lost in the woods. And the advantage to being in the woods is you can pee anywhere. anywhere. Nobody cares. Well, okay, I wouldn't say anywhere. Don't pee on a bear. Uh, and uh, I will note two other things. Don't, don't pee, on, pee on someone's tent. No, don't do that. Even if you're lost and they've set up the tent, we're lost. We'll figure out where we're going in the morning. The tent is right out. Yes. And the third thing, if you're in the woods and you have to pee anywhere thing and you're cooking in the woods... And you're cooking with something, this is in general, by the way, you're cooking with something that involves jalapenos. Wash your hands before you pee, and then wash your hands after you pee. My scoutmaster, 20 years ago, 20 plus years, 25 years ago, learned this lesson. We heard the scream from a quarter mile away. Well, that was a hell of a tangent. Yes, it was. So... But, yes, in the woods, you can pee anywhere. I'm... T- right. Okay, yes. Back to well, the... Yes. Uh, one tangent, tangent per week, minimum. But, yeah, I mean... Okay, but, of course, as you blew the, this fucking in story, it turns uh, out when the cops did show up, she weren't in the woods. She was in her front yard near an open beer cooler. Was there even a tree? I don't even see where there was a tree. Was it a tree? There was, however, a loaded handgun. And I've never been so drunk I'd mistaken a loaded handgun for a tree. Much less multiple trees. Because one tree does not make woods. No. And uh, apparently she uh, did not have a permit. They had to tackle and handcuff her. At jail, a vial of meth residue was allegedly discovered. She now faces charges of carrying a weapon without a permit, possession of meth, introduction of contraband in a detention facility, and resisting arrest without violence. All okay. of these reasons probably should not have called 911 to Agreed. begin with. My only, My only point in her favor there I don't really buy the introduction of controlled substance to a detention center. Yeah, they probably already had them. Well, no, no. In, in the, They took her there. They could have and should have searched her before they took her there and found it before they got, got there. Nah, nah. It's, it's, you know... To me, that's... I'm trying to smuggle dope into the detention center on purpose. Not, I forgot to empty my pockets. Well, to be fair, it's math! <laughs> it's fucking meth. And finally tonight, I, I think we're going to go with the, uh, speaking of bears, uh, we're going to go big on our last story. Um, You, you know we're going to have, Catherine has now got a challenge. She's got to find someone who urinated on a bear. <laughs> oh dear. I, I will accept a tiger or other large carnivorous animal, but the, the gauntlet has been thrown down. Now, the the headline of this story is okay. initially sounds really amazing. It sounds very interesting. But it's when you get a little further into it, you realize this guy was not so amazing as he was completely insane. Starts off in one of those inspirational stories. Man attacked by mountain lions, saved by bear. And what happened was, he was uh, out panning for gold. Yes, people still do that. Yeah. Um, he came across a bear with her, their cub. He stopped to watch, and he was about to leave. 
when a fucking lion jumped on him and bit his backpack. And he's like, oh, God, I'm dead. But suddenly the bear said, no. Nah, and chomped down on the lion, shook it around. The lion said, fuck this, left. And, you know. Something jumped on my back, and I thought it was a friend of mine. Autoplay. Shut it off. Shut it, shut it off. Make it stop. The there you go. I, I was wondering where that was coming from. Yes. Um, well, I hate autoplay, don't you? Just yeah. Side note, but so that that sounds amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, Here's that's good where story. it gets stupid. The bear was after his meth. Um, the bear walked calmly back to her cub after, and I wrapped my arm up with a t-shirt, and went gold panning. Before I went home. Because, you know, that lion's gone for good. There's no worry of infection. We're not, yeah, no concern. So he's got, and you can see the picture, He was where he was bitten. Yeah. Scott, he's been bitten by a fucking lion. Well, that was a hell of a thing. I want gold. And it gets worse. Uh, How can it get worse? Biggs returned home to a shocked wife, Suzanne, who said she tried to convince him to go to the doctor, but still has had no luck. I was pretty worried when I saw the blood is closed, but he's being very stubborn. I thought he should go in case of rabies, but Bob isn't worried. Um, I see a potential Darwin winner here. Yes! He, die. he should be nominated at the very least. We'll just wait to see if he gets, you know, what infections he develops. Here, Here's his, at the end he says, uh, I poured some hydrogen peroxide on my arm, and it feels fine. It's black and brew from the wrist to the elbow, and you can see puncture wounds, but it feels fine. Go to the doctor! This was, the, this, okay. I could, you, you were bitten by a, a lot. It's, it's a fucking lion! Yeah. She, Dude, I don't even have to say. There's nothing to add here. It's just lions and bears. Oh my! No tigers yet. If the bear found out about this, the, the bear, bear would be upset. The bear would. Be, I saved your life, and you go to the doctor. The bear would tell you to go to the doctor, and it doesn't even know what a doctor is. I mean. Ch 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 the bear does not bear does not understand doctor and he would still tell you to go to fucking doctor. Yeah. So I, I guess I guess that's that's the first thing we learned this week. At a bear would tell you to go to the doctor. Yeah, yeah, I know I can see that. I'm trying to think of a good punchline, a, a <laughs> joke for this, and I'm I'm not having any luck because he's so stupid. I just and he's got no problem going back. He says he's going to go back. It doesn't say he's taking anything to ward off lions. He's not taking a steak for the bear. I'd take a steak for the bear. Hey, there's the bear that saved me. Here, have the steak. Yeah, I know, and right? Here's a little one gratitude. A little gratitude. Yeah, I, I, maybe he's just... This is just the slowest suicide attempt in history. No, that's Michael Bay. Uh, uh, ah. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I think he's attempting to inspire a lynching, but that's neither here nor there. Um, we, we, Is we've... it considered a hate crime for ruining your childhood, so we lynched him? Let's find out. Let's ask KC. Yes, the show has a lawyer. <laughs> Weird, huh? Um, so, uh, let's see. We learned that if you're going to make an advertisement... Um, ask. Ask. Yes, ask some permission or... Y'all could lose some money. Um, that's, that's, let's see, advertising is supposed to make money, not lose money. So. And if you're going to make meth, do it in the comfort and privacy of your own trailer. Right. Not some random strangers. Right. I mean, that's, that's just, that's just rude is what that is. I mean, a at least ask first. Say, neighbor, can I make meth out in your camper? You know, just have the common courtesy. A please yeah. and a thank you. That's all it takes. A little civility goes a long way. You know. 
Um, and if if you're going to be lost in the woods, make sure there's actually woods there to be lost in. Also, if you need to call the cops for help, get rid of your illegal firearm and methamphetamines before you dial the 911. Oh, Jesus Christ. Where should I pee in the woods? Yeah, yeah it's Florida and it's 911. I mean, wasn't it there a few months ago? Someone called 911 to report that their drugs had been stolen and they want the police to help them get them back. Well, last week someone called to report that he wouldn't let her ch- his his wife wouldn't let her ch- let him check Facebook, so he called nine one one. I I don't I do not understand these things. Um, we've learned that when you think just when you think we've run out of fetishes, someone will come up with another one, this showing is true. his ass to teenagers and filming it for arousal purpose. Is there a website for this? Because there probably will be now. I don't want to know. But I'll point out, Nash, he's been doing this for five to ten years. It's probably more than just teenagers at this point. I know. Teenagers is just what he got busted for. Five to ten years. That's that's not a hot... That's not an obsession anymore. That's a career. You know, that's... I mean, he could have started with the same kids when they were in grade school and been filming the same kids for the last 10 years. Well, that's fucked up. I just had that thought. That's fucked. That's like, you know, it's like, you know, you ever that's see like a psychology that? study. You ever see those family pictures along the wall that go from younger to older? Be kind of like that, only with horror and dismay. Slowly, slowly drifting into acceptance and resignation. Oh, there he is. There's his ass again. Fuck my life. You know? Is it March already? He's back. <laughs> It's like the fucking groundhog, only an ass. Oh, we saw the old guy's ass again. Six more weeks of winter. <laughs> and uh, finally, um, unless you are a porn star or a pop star, um, your tits are not a valid form of ID to the cops. They, it's not going to work. Yeah. Um, just, just saying. Or maybe meat love. He could probably use his as a valid form of IT. There's an image nobody wanted. Yeah. Uh, now, folks, going out, I don't have any hippos. I'm sorry. Uh, nothing in that nature. I do have this, however. Really? Good night, Nash. Yeah. Good, good night, Mike. <laughs> I, 